Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycle Mandia Season 2015. It's me, Young07, and today we have Stage 4. It's Friday, and it's the first mountain stage of the Tour de Romandie. And yeah, compared to yesterday's stage, this isn't that much of a mountain stage, but it'll still be pretty fun to ride. Favorites for today is, of course, Froome, Quintana, and Dion Thomas actually up as third place. Pinot did really well yesterday, uh, finishing third. Just not that far behind Quintana and Froome, and a lot better than all the other riders down here. So let's see how well we can do today. It'll be a, quite a long way from the final calorie run climb here to the finish line, but this climb seems pretty long and pretty tough, so I think we'll see some major gaps after it. Let's get into the stage. Last 38 kilometers of the race now. I was just at my free helper state on the last energy. Hopefully, I can get some water before the beginning of the climb here. I'm not exactly sure, but it would be really nice. Up to Froome. Okay, Froome and Dion Thomas have water. That's the most important part. I have Nieve and Gwekoski leading on the peloton right now. Peace, of course, fell off a long time ago. So, I don't know if I should go with Froome now. Let him go solo up this climb at around like 80 or something like that. Or should I just use up Gwekoski and Nieve and then move with Froome later? I think I'm just going to go with Gwekoski and Nieve and then save up Froome's energy for a bit longer. Uh, I think it's... This is a, a long climb, it's a long way from finish line, so I don't think I'll want to go that fast yet. I'm going to use a lot of energy here with Kvikovsky and Yeah, but they can drop a lot of riders because they're strong riders. We all know that. You can see people are struggling with this pace already, Kvitkovsky especially. And Swift couldn't keep up with that pace for long. Uh, auto, auto, and last one. It's also on auto right, yeah. Okay, auto everybody. It's only these four riders to to uh, worry about now. And actually, just maybe stop back a bit. Now oh, he's he's still pretty strong here, Nieve. Not as strong Kwiatkowski, but I'll put him on auto as well because he's tired. He can't keep up for that much longer. He might be able to just sit in the peloton here and get a nice placement, but probably not much more than that. Sixty nine riders left in the peloton. One more fell off 68. People are just falling off one by one now. Vermeulen falling off here. You can see people just falling off. My free riders here will, without a doubt, soon be joining them as well. Oh, a gap here as well. Any riders caught behind the wrong part of the peloton? Probably not. Seems like most of the favorites should be in the front group. BMC maybe, free riders here. No, pretty support. And the board seems pretty weak today as well. Amador will be trying to bridge the gap back up. This here as well, for I am Polyanski Nieve seems to be the next casualty. 34 riders now in the group, seems to maybe get a gap here as well. It's still Kwiatkowski out in front, really destroying people right now. Often he has to keep up. Pierre Roland has fallen off actually, that's a big name, in my opinion at least. He was pretty good. Sagrin as well, 11th in the standings. Hmm, any other names? Rosa. That's the best starter rider actually, I think that's the best starter rider gone. Rojas fallen off, so we're down to the like. Okay, I didn't see that he went. So now Froome goes, Krikowski stops, and now there's... Let's see who takes control in the peloton. Dumbalang, Pino tries to join Kristen Froome, but they Kelderman, Hesedal joining up as well. It's about just, I want to get up to Quintana, but he's going fast at the moment. 90 is fast up this climb here, and I'm not really catching him that much. He's still 27 seconds, 25. I'm not, the, the time stays the same. I'm not catching him at all. I had Jaron Thomas for a long time here helping me. He's done now as well. He can go solo. Dukovsky is sitting here with the port, and Molema will probably get dropped in this group because he's, of course, spent a lot of energy in the start of the climb here. 17 seconds, the gap is under 20 now. Can I just join him before the downhill part? Oh, this will be difficult. Am I a better downhill rider than, than what's he called, Nayo Quintana? I think I might be because I have caught him now. Yes, that's really important. We have a three man group here with uh, Jaron Thomas actually in this group here as well. Did not really see that coming. But of course, he did cr a great job leading out. His man is now to hang out with Bade Dumoulin. Pinot. I have not seen Pinot. Thibaut Pinot 
It's all the way down here. I don't know if he has any energy left at all. But it's a bit far down for him to be sitting. Kvitkovsky in E5, just behind the Pinot group, apparently. And next up should be Mikhail Nieve in the peloton here. In the back end of it as well. He'll uh, probably just try and hang on and get a good placement here. But it's a 1-2 race here. Uh, don't, I'm just sitting back here because I don't need to lead out. Yeah, he sees. He wants me to cooperate. I have no reason to cooperate, no really. I'm already in the leader's jersey. And I have the better time slot than you have, Quintana. You're the one who needs to get away from the other riders. I just need to relax and get a stage win because I'm not going to work here. Quintana can work if he wants to. I don't care. I don't care if we get caught by the entire pills and it becomes a mass sprint. John Thomas and Kvitkovsky would also like that as well, I would imagine. Kvitkovsky now with Sagarin. Pantano did really well yesterday. Eight-man group here. And a six-man group here as well. Uran and Talansky, the two Candale riders with Van Garden, has joined the front three here, the three chasers. 44 seconds up now to Christopher Froome. I need to be a bit aware because I feel like Quintana is going to attack at some point. Molema will cost attacking, Spielak as well, is that from this group here? Probably was, but I don't see anyone attacking, so it's probably a bit of a, a fake attack. I don't know what exact name for it, but like when you attack, you have to show that you. Uh, you're thinking about attacking. 27 seconds. Jaron Thomas still sitting here. Pace is high now. Tom Dumang is the one setting it up. Bit uphill here. That, that was the moment to attack if you want to attack. There's still a little climb at the bottom of the field. That's where I'm going to make my move. I've already decided that far away here. Peters and get some, some water just because I can. He's still going up the final climb, I think. Yeah, he's probably pretty tired by now. Kvitkovsky and Yev is still sitting in the peloton here. The Kvitkovsky has been caught. Vals, Roland. Let's see here. Attacks here on the downhill here at Spilak. Molema, Rui Costa, Pinot. Everyone trying to join. Jaron Thomas. Uh, will find the wheel of Dumalang, I think. I think he's the strongest. Take many deal here as well. And uh, I'm going to attack now. Let's see how much energy has Quintana saved here. Then I don't think he's going that fast. I'm trying to attack early on here. Oh, he can't keep up for that long. This is uphill as well. I have some energy left on top of this. Start the sprint here as well with room. I think I'm going to get like a 40 seconds here as well. Dumoulin on the wheel of... No, Thomas on the wheel of Dumoulin here, I think. Can get a nice top, what is it, 8 finish here. Not a 16 here. 30 seconds to Quintana. Froome will take back to back stage win. Great performance once against Marcus Froome. He bridged the gap to Quintana. Didn't even see Quintana initiating the first attack. But he soloed up to him. Uh, not soloed. Jaron Thomas was a big help. And Jaron Thomas will probably be rewarded by, with that with a top 8 finish here. Oh, so these were the end results. Froome winning, John Thomas 6th, uh, Kwiatkowski came in in the group 4 minutes after, big peloton here, from all the way from 17 Bargelands and all the way down to 54, so Nieve and, and of course Kwiatkowski in that group here, puts John Thomas up to 12th, I think he gained a few positions, but of course gaining a lot of time on riders like Pinot, Kellerman, Costa, uh, Hesedal and overtaking riders like Spielak, Maike and so on, he ended up gaining a lot of time compared to the 5 minutes he lost yesterday. Other than that, Kwiatkowski is still into 20 in year, down to 26th. Still pretty good overall. I think team conditions. We're actually leading this with 3 minutes. Uh, Froome, of course, of ice here, is he ahead now. 2 minutes and 14 with a mountain state and a time trial to go. I think he got this in under control. In the mountains, Froome still well ahead. I think he's going to win this as well, unless Quintana wins the final stage, because the final climb will probably give a lot of points of him. Uh, what's it called? Um, this climb, Vabier, I think it's called. Uh, sprint consistent, Froome has won a couple of stages, but I think there's no points for the sprints at the end, so it's probably, yeah, it's the breakaway riders here. And Kvitkovsky went on a breakaway in one of the stages as well. Young riders, do we have anyone else at all in this race? Peters, uh, third, fourth to last, but he's been working a lot. If he'd been sitting, he probably could have finished around, maybe, around Hoffland's time here. But 
he's been working plus he's not that great of a ride in the climbs so still great effort overall from the entire team tomorrow will be the most important stage so check that out because that's going to be a really fun stage to drive and i'll see you guys next time goodbye